Hello, crafters. This is Yana Smakula for SimonSaysDM.com. Welcome back for another Yippee for Yana episode. In this video, I'm sharing a clean and simple graduation card with a DIY interactive tassel using the Grad Party stamp set from Kathy Zulski. I started working on my card by figuring out a simple way to make a thread tassel for a graduation cap. The image in this stamp set is a completely solid one, so if you stamp it in black ink, everything ends up black, the cap and the tassel. I wanted to have a different color tassel, so I did a little bit of experimenting. First, of course, I stamped the cap image in VersaFine Onyx Black Ink onto white cardstock. When I think back to my graduation, I graduated from a U.S. high school in 2003. I was a foreign exchange student there. My cap and gown were dark blue, not black. So that's another color you can use for your cap. And then the next year in 2004, I graduated high school in Ukraine. But we don't do the cap and gown in high school in Ukraine. We only do that in university. So I only wore my cap and gown once for my U.S. graduation. And I even still have it somewhere at my mom's place. You'll notice I also stamped a big word grad. I ended up not using it as it was just a little bit too big and too bold for my card idea. I cut the cap out using a coordinating die and that's where the altering started. First, I used scissors and I cut the tassel off. In this image, there is a gap between the tassel and a cap, so that allows for a very clean cut. There's no leftover black ink and it looks like it was meant like that. There we go, a cap without the tassel. I then used a pencil eraser as a rubbery surface to poke a hole in the center of my cap. That's where our tassel is going to go. Now to make the tassel, I used yellow DMC floss. You'll also need some sort of object to wrap the floss around when making the tassel. The process is very similar to making a pom-pom. In my case, I'm using another pencil eraser, a smaller one. Uh, you can also use a clear block or even a piece of cardstock, just something small as we don't need the tassel to be too big. I first cut a piece of thread about four inches long. I separated the strands. I need three strands and this gives me two pieces of thread. And I'll use both pieces. Now I place one piece onto my guide, the pencil eraser, and then I wrap the thread twice around the pencil eraser, like so. The next part is a little bit tricky as you'll need to hold the thread with one hand and tie the other thread, the three count thread, with your other hand. If you struggle, you can use a piece of low-tech tape and tape it onto your guide. This will free your other hand to be able to tie the thinner piece of floss. So I tie one knot and then another one. I remove the floss from my guide and I trim it. I just cut the excess thread off and I cut the loop. Next, I use another piece of thread, the thinner piece, and I wrap it around the fat ends of my floss twice, like so. Again, this is tricky as the tassel is small and the thread keeps escaping. If you struggle, you can first make your tassel longer and then simply trim it later. That will make it a little bit easier to assemble it. Next, tie it into a knot and then into another knot, and that should hold it perfectly in place. If you want, you can add a dot of glue to be extra sure. Now use your scissors and trim any excess to give a tassel a haircut. And our mini tassel is ready. We just need to thread it through the hole in our graduation cap and secure the end from the inside with a foam square. I trim the excess thread too, just so that I don't have any poking from behind the cap. And there you have it, a perfect mini graduation cap and a colorful, movable tassel. I've made a bunch of these caps off camera, I think I have seven in total, and I positioned them somewhat randomly onto my background. I picked a light blue background as it goes well with the yellow tassels. I tried to keep the caps in two rows, but rotate and flip them to add movement to this design. I picked a different sentiment, a smaller one, and I opted to stamp it in the bottom right corner. I first foam mounted each cap, making sure that it was facing a different way. I did not secure the tassels, so they move freely and they can fall onto either side but you can add a dot of glue if you'd like to keep them secured in a specific spot on your card. 
I also steamed my sentiment, congrats on a job well done, and another one that reads, you did it. I adhered this panel onto an A2 card base. Now I wanted to add some fillers to my background. So I looked through my stash for some small images that I could stamp in between the caps. I stamped some smaller and then some larger stars. They filled the background nicely. And I also added a three dot cluster stamped next to the stars. You can use any small images that you have in your stash to add this type of filler to the card. Or you can even use a pen, a black pen, and draw some fillers yourself. It's pretty easy. So here's a look at the finished graduation card. I hope you feel inspired to create. If you make a card inspired by this video, we'd love it if you shared your project online and tagged us on social media. We always enjoy seeing what you make. Thanks so much for joining me today. Love you guys, and I'll see you next time. <music>